Have you guys seen the new Batman vs. Superman trailer? It's awesome! Awesome! We just saw the trailer, didn't we? Yeah! Today! And it was amazing! Mm -hmm. We're super excited! I'm nuts about Batman. Totally love Batman. Love all of them. Every single one of them. And that's every single one of them. Because I love Batman. <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen the Batman vs. Superman trailer yet, you have to go over and check it out right now. We'll leave a description, a link in the description below, and you can go watch it. But come back here so you can draw Batman with us. <laughs> after. Yeah. Okay, first step. We're gonna draw, we're gonna start with our paper uh, portrait, right? Mm -hmm or vertical, mm -hmm. and we were gonna draw him standing up. His cape's gonna be kind of blowing in the wind over here, and he's gonna be facing to the left. And so we're gonna first start by drawing his head, okay? So we're gonna draw his forehead. It's gonna be a uh, shape like that. And this is going down to his nose, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do his mask. So it's coming back and it's about the same, almost a, a little longer than the top line. Good job. Now let's do his first, uh, his first, what are these called? His ears. <laughs> I love Batman, but I don't know all the names and everything. <laughs> so we're gonna draw a line that comes up. So it came, came down a little further. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the line coming down into, so from his cowl into his shoulders, okay? It's almost like a little hooked line. Good job. He's going to have a super awesome long neck. I like oh, it. I forgot the, the hose. <laughs> yeah. So that's his neck, and it's coming down into his shoulder. But it's perfect, dude. We're going to practice too, remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's draw his chin next. So we're going to draw the part that comes down from his nose, and then it's going to come into his chin and come back around into his jaw, like that. Good. And then we can bring a line down his jaw into his, oh sorry, from the top of his cheek down into his jaw. Got it? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, now let's draw his mouth. So we'll just draw a little line right there. So, so face, he looks angry, huh? Mm -hmm. And then let's draw his eye. So we're going to draw a line that comes up. And he's angry. And we can kind of curl it down a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to draw the bottom part of his eye. Good. And then let's draw his eyebrow kind of over the top. Looks angry. Good. Okay. Now we can draw, we can draw a little line on the other side for his other eye coming in on the back side. So almost behind, like it's kind of behind his nose, right? Mm -hmm. Good job. Now let's draw his other ear and we'll just draw a little one. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> now let's draw his neck, the rest of his neck coming down from his chin. So a line like that. Good job. I like how, I like how tall your Batman's head is. It's awesome. <laughs> Okay, now let's draw his let's draw his cowl. So the part that goes over his shoulders and into his cape. We'll finish his shoulder first. So we'll come back over here. Draw a line that comes kind of in and then down. A little rainbow line. Okay, and then we're gonna put a point right here below his neck. And we're gonna draw this line that comes down. It's an S line that comes down and then back up. And then we can, I drew a little below this one and we're gonna put a little wrinkle in his cape. Good, so we don't connect it. So we're gonna put that little wrinkle right there on the shoulder. Good, okay, now let's draw a neckline. So we're coming down diagonally right there. That's the muscle on his neck, okay? okay. Then we're gonna bring this line, an S line, and this is gonna be his cape. So we're gonna come back to this and finish it later, but we'll do a little S line. I'm gonna redraw that so it's not as wobbly. There we go. 
Okay, and then, so we're gonna draw another line. We'll draw another one that comes from here, around, and then back in. It's kind of like so a Charizard. Yeah, yeah, it kind of is. So that it starts thin there, it gets thick, and then gets thin again. And then we're gonna draw, well, go ahead, keep going. Good, and then we'll draw a little curved line right there for his shoulder on the back side of his body. Awesome! Okay, you ready for the rest of them? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna draw we're gonna draw the first part of his arm, which is this tricep. So a curved line right here, and then we're gonna draw his bicep on the front part. So we'll draw a curved line, and this is gonna come down. See how this one's a little bit more straight, and then this one's curved. Then we're going to bring a line back up. And that's where his, where his bicep ends. And then we're going to draw the, his little, he's got a little elbow bump. Good job. That's a big, a big elbow there, dude. <laughs> he's going to knock somebody out with that when he punches them. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, let's keep going. <laughs> and so we're... Now we're gonna do this is forearm, all right? So we're gonna do a curved line that comes down. <laughs> and you don't want this to be too long, but this is gonna come down into his fist. So it might be a little bit longer than you're expecting. So now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna draw his forearm that comes down and it's gonna curve in. See how it's got a little bump right here? Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna go into his wrist. Good job, he's really strong. Okay, <laughs> then we're gonna draw his fist. Okay, draw that little thumb, man. <laughs> a little giggle happy. <laughs> All right, good. So then we're gonna draw, is that a line coming down for the rest of his thumb? And then we can draw and we'll connect them like this. So we'll just connect his thumb to, his, to the other line over there. Good job, man. Hey, and then we can do a little, a uh, zigzag line, so we got his thumb, and then we got his fingers in there. His fingers are, will be over here. Okay, and we could do a little knuckle lines if we want. Just little little guys right at the end. Good job. Okay, now let's finish this. So we got his glove, so we're gonna do a diagonal curved contour line. Exactly, Oh, that's all right. <laughs> He's got an extra finger. <laughs> okay, so do that. Do a little curved line right there for his glove. All right, okay, now we're gonna add the, the little fins, the three fins that are coming out of his gloves. So we're gonna, they kind of look like shark fins, and they come out like that. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, now let's do his chest, and we're gonna come down to his waist, too. So his waist is gonna be right here uh, in line with his gloves. So we're gonna come out and we're just gonna put a line right here to guide us, okay? So we're gonna put a line, and we don't want it to be too wide because he's kinda of got a skinny waist, but it comes up to be muscular up at the top, right? Okay, mm -hmm. now let's do his back muscle, and it's coming into his waist. So we're gonna start right here at his bicep, and we're gonna come down, and then into that waist that we just made. Good, that's awesome. Okay, now let's do his chest and it's gonna come out from the top up here and we're gonna curve out. Then we're gonna come back in just a short little line that comes back in for his pec muscle. Then we're gonna draw his stomach muscle that comes out and then we're gonna go back in and then we're gonna go into his into his uh, waist. Awesome, so this is his ribs. This is the rib line, this is his pec muscle. And then let's draw his shoulder in the background. Good, okay, now let's do his other pec muscle. And it's gonna be huge. Do a curve line like that. Good, okay, now let's do his stomach muscle, so his six pack. Now that's gonna come down, we're gonna do a bump. Bump, bump, right down the middle. OK, 
Good. And then we're going to come back up to that middle line and then draw his rib muscle right there. And then we can kind of draw another bump right at the end. Okay, and then let's do let's do those ab muscles. So one, two, and then we can kind of draw we can draw one on the other side too. Super strong stomach. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the muscles right under his right under his ribs. So we're gonna draw a, kind of a check mark or V. Good, and then we'll draw a line that comes down. And we're gonna draw another check mark. And we can draw another line coming out. There's side muscles. All right, okay, now let's do the bat logo on his chest, all right? Okay. We're gonna do a little U shape, and that's gonna be for the bat ears. And we put it right on the edge because half of the bat logo is gonna be on the other side of his body, okay? Okay. So we're gonna now come down from that first ear, and then we're gonna sweep back up for his wing, okay? And then we're gonna come all the way over the top. Good, okay, and then let's come back down here. We're gonna put a little point down here, and that's where his tail, where the bat tail is gonna come, okay? We're gonna okay. start from that point, and we're gonna come up, do a rainbow line, and then we'll do another rainbow line to connect to the wing. Good job. Okay, now let's do another curve going back the other way off his chest. Sweet, dude. He looks so awesome. Hey, okay, now let's do his belt. And we're going to do little pockets for all of the cool toys and gadgets toys. he has. Toys. <laughs> yeah, all of his little bombs and and uh, smoke grenades and stuff. We'll put three little boxes. Awesome, and then connect it right up uh, oh. right up here to his waist. There you go, good job. <laughs> okay, and then we'll do one more little box over here on this side, and then we can connect them with his belt and see how the belt line is a little higher than the rest. Yeah, so these pockets kind of hang down. And then we can do little uh, Vs on top of each box to put a lid on them. All right, dude, let's do his legs now. So we're gonna do his uh, right here for the first leg, a little curved line. It's for his Batman underwear. And then we're gonna <laughs> then we're gonna do the back part. <laughs> Good job. You got a little extra bump in there. <laughs> okay, dude. Let's let's do his leg. Let's keep going, man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a big curved line that goes around and over. A little half circle. Okay, now we're gonna come down for his leg. This is for his thigh, okay? So we're gonna curve down. And then that's stopping at his knee. So kind of keep that in mind while you're doing it. And we'll do a muscle over here on this side. That's gonna come in. So it gets a little close here, but it's not touching. Good. Okay, now let's do a, kind of a C shape for his knee. Good. And then we're gonna draw his shin comes down like that, and then that's gonna stop at his ankle. There you go. Good, he's gonna have a short little foot down there, or <laughs> short little, uh, we could extend it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe we could extend it, there we go. I think that'll work, we'll, we'll extend it in just a sec, okay? So we're gonna do his calf muscle that comes out the back, and then it's gonna curve down, and my calf gut muscle got a little, little extra big too. And it's coming down to his ankle. Good. Okay. Now let's do his boot. So it's going to be a uh, upside down V that's pointed towards his his uh, knee. And then we're going to come back down on that side. Awesome. Okay. Now let's do another muscle line right here. So we're going to do a little zigzag right there. Good job. Now let's. 
Yeah, lightning bolt right down his leg. Okay, now let's extend your paper. Okay, all we did was just take uh, two extra sheets of paper and extend it down here and taped it on the back side, right? Mm -hmm. So it's super long. We probably didn't need to make it that long, but now you have plenty of room for his foot. Okay. Okay, you ready to keep going? Yeah. So we're gonna have his, the top of his foot going this way, and then we're gonna have the back of his foot, so the heel of his boot coming back the other direction, and this line on his heel can be a little bit further down so that we can draw his toes that come out and down over here. And then we can kind of draw a line that comes in too. There we go. And then let's connect those curved line. That looks awesome. He needs another leg though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's keep going. So we're gonna come down. We're gonna his his other leg is gonna be up a little higher. So he's got one leg up. So he was like he's got it resting on something else. We're gonna draw this line, his other thigh that's coming out, and we want this line to be about the same length as this one, okay? Good job. So that can be a little bit longer. Because see how long this one is? Right. And then you can come out just a little bit longer and curl it right at the end like it's going into his knee. Okay, now let's draw his knee. And it's going to be a, a line that comes out and it's pointy. And then it's going to come back in. There. Good job. Okay, now let's draw his shin. So the front part of his leg. And you want this to be about the same length over here too. Because we don't want one leg to be longer than the other. Right? Mm -hmm. Good job. Let's check it out. That looks about right. That's awesome, dude. Okay, now let's draw the other part of his leg. Okay, so we're gonna draw, we're gonna come back here and we're gonna draw a curved line that comes in towards his knee. Okay, and then we'll come back in, and this is going to be for a little muscle, a muscle line right here. Comes in, and then we're going to come out for his calf. So we'll come out and then bump back in. Okay, and then we'll finish his foot. So we're going to curve down. I might have done that too big. Oh, yeah, it's a little big. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> He's, he really works out his right leg. He yes. kicks a lot of bad guys in the face with that foot. All right, okay, now let's draw his... He's really meaty. <laughs> he's, really, <laughs> he's really meaty. <laughs> okay, we're gonna draw his heel on the, on, the, on the back of his leg. Good, and then we're gonna finish his toe and then connect the bottom line for his boot. Awesome, okay, you know what we hey. forgot? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, and then we forgot his ankles. So we draw a little line there for his ankle, and then another one over here for the ankle on this foot. And then we could also draw the bottom of his bottom of his boot, so a really thin line on the bottom. Looks like he has a sole on the bottom of his foot. Okay, let's come back up here and we'll finish his boot. So we're gonna draw a diagonal line, contour line that comes down. Good job, and then we can draw another muscle line up here on his thigh. Awesome. Okay, dude, we need to draw his fist coming out, and we're going to have it holding a battering, okay? Okay. So we're going to draw two lines that come out of right where his stomach is to hit, and they come, they start thick, and then they come closer together. And that's for his his uh, wrist, and then we're gonna draw his thumb first. So we'll go up, over, and then a backwards J for his thumb. Good, okay, and then we'll draw another line that comes out for his fingers, and then we'll draw another line that comes down right here, and then connect them. Then we can draw a couple lines in here for 
his fingers. So that's his fingers coming in. This is like a thumb line. Now we can draw his fingers. So we'll draw a little line there and we'll draw another one. Draw three lines for four fingers, right? Mm -hmm. All right, okay, now let's draw his battering. So we're gonna draw a curved line that comes out on this side and then down and we're imagining, imagining it going through his fist, comes out the other side. Good, and then we can draw a little scallop line for the for the uh, wings on the battering. That is that awesome? That looks like he's holding a banana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, now let's keep going. We're gonna do his cape, okay? So we're gonna draw a big line that comes down. So this line is coming from his shoulder all the way down through here. So we're gonna imagine it coming through his body, right? And then it's gonna come out here. So it's going behind his body, coming out over here. We're gonna come an end right between his legs. There we go. Now we're gonna do all of the cool because his cape has got these cool scallops just like, his, like the bat wing, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do a big U shape. And we can do another big U shape. And we could have probably extended, so if we were to draw this again, we'd draw Batman over here towards the right side of the paper, and then we could draw his cape really big. Wouldn't that be awesome? Mm -hmm. So then we can draw another U shape. We'll just keep going until we get close down here. So this U, I'm down here where his legs are. I'm gonna come in where his, to his leg. Then I'm gonna come back out over here and you can just do whatever works on yours because your cape's gonna be in a different spot than mine. And then I'm gonna come back in. This one's gonna connect into the line over here. Yes, dude, that looks so awesome. So it would, he would look so much cooler if we moved him over here. And we could have we could have actually extended our paper that way too, right? Mm -hmm. And we could have drawn a big, huge cape. That's all right. We're practicing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going. So we're going to draw, let's draw the, uh, we could draw a ground so it makes a little bit of sense of why his foot's up here. So we could draw this little step that comes down and then connects into into his foot here and we could turn that into the top of a building or like have a gargoyle the, the image that we're using for reference has a gargoyle head right there that will look really cool too mm -hmm. but we're going to leave it like this and we're going to start coloring them okay. that'd be fun yeah all right let's do it all right we got our colors picked out dude we got a, a kind of a gray color a yellow color we got black because we're going to use a lot of black huh mm -hmm. and we got this really dark blue it's it's not too dark though because we want it to show up and then we also got this peach color that we're gonna use for his skin. Okay, you ready for the first step? Yeah. Okay, first we're going to do something a little tricky because we want his, his black cape and his boots and his gloves to look shiny. A little more shiny than the rest, okay? okay. So we're gonna draw a blue shiny line that's gonna come down his body right here. And it, we'll have it on the outside or the right side of his, his mask. And then we're gonna come down, and then we're gonna come down his shoulder right here. Okay, so there's a little stripe that's coming down. Then we're gonna do another stripe that comes down his gloves. And this is gonna be a highlight. This is called a, hi a highlight, and it's to make his gloves look like they have kind of a blue tint to them, even though they're black. And then we'll do another one right here. And then we're gonna go up his thumb and then we'll come down his knuckles. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right, and then we'll do the same over here. We're gonna do a line that comes down the middle of his boot and then into his toes. And then we'll do the same over here. Do a little stripe that comes down here and then into his toes and then down. All right, it might look a little weird, but once we get the rest, we're gonna color the rest of it black. 
and you'll see it. it's gonna look really cool, okay? It's gonna look like a highlight. So our art friends can pause it and then they can do their part and match what we have and we're gonna speed it up to the next part, okay? Okay. Okay, I forgot, dude. We got to do his underwear too, huh? So we're going to do a little blue line down his underwear, okay. right down the side so his underwear looks shiny. <laughs> I don't know why superheroes wear underwear on the outside of their costume, <laughs> but they all do. So anyways, let's keep going. So I went ahead and colored also the inside of his cape blue, okay? Okay. All right, there you go. Let's keep going. Okay, dude, the next step, we're gonna fill in the gray part, and that's gonna be his chest, his arm, and his legs, okay? And we're okay. gonna just do it solid, and we'll fill the whole thing in. Okay. Chuckers, he's looking amazing, man. We got them all filled in, right? Mm -hmm. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our black, and we're gonna do some shading. He'd look really cool. We could leave him just like this, right? Mm -hmm. And he still looks awesome. Kind of like when we when we do cartoons, sometimes we'll just do solid with no shading. Mm -hmm. But I think he'll look so much better if we do a little bit of shading. So we wanna make sure that your black uh, colored pencil has a nice point, right? Mm -hmm. So that we can get some details. And we're gonna press extremely light with this step so that we're not filling in black, dark black. And we're gonna go back over and blend it. So what I'm doing right here is I'm putting a, sh a shadow on the left side of his bicep, but I'm going to leave a little highlight. And that's okay. You filled oh. yours in, but I'm just doing a little light um, line that comes down his bicep, and it's going to leave a reflective line on the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to come back down. We're going to keep going and fill in, or not fill in, but bring that line also down his forearm right here. Then we can go back over it with the light gray that we had so that it doesn't look dark. It looks more like a shadow on the gray. Okay, the other thing that I'm doing is we have a white sheet of paper right here and it's folded in half. And the reason why we're doing that is because sometimes when we drag our hand over the colored pencils, you'll leave this big smudge mark across it. So if you put a white sheet of clean paper on top, that can protect your hand when you're going back and forth so you're not smearing the colored pencils. Cool? Mm -hmm. Little secret. Okay, yeah. now let's do the shading right here under his arm. So we're gonna come down here and we're just doing a light. We're following that curved line right here. And we're gonna come under his, his uh, rib muscles right here. And we'll also come under his bicep. We're gonna put in some shadows under his bicep. So we're gonna to come to a point right there. We'll keep going around. Okay, and then I'm going to come down his, the side of his body and I'm leaving a reflective highlight right here on the right side. And if this gets a little too confusing, it's okay, you can watch the video a couple times if you want, rewind it, watch it again, or you can just fill it in and be really simple, kind of like how you filled in his bicep right there. You can just fill it in and not leave that reflective highlight. Does that look cool? Look at that. So it comes down his side into his waist, and then we'll do his, his uh, stomach muscle too while we're here. So let's do some little shadows underneath Okay, now that we got that all shaded in, and, and again, our art friends can pause the video right now and kind of match what we've done if we went too fast. Mm -hmm. So what I did was just leave some highlights on his stomach muscles, highlights right here on his 
on his rib muscles and then and then leave this highlight on the top of his ribs right here. And then we'll go back over and blend it with the gray so that all that texture goes smooth and there's no pencil marks. Okay. Okay, now let's come down, let's do his belt. We're gonna add a little shading just inside some of these little pockets. And we can shade kind of the bottom of the pocket. And then we can go back over that and blend it out again. Okay, dude, now let's get his muscles on his legs. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna draw a line that comes in from, so up here, we'll. We can draw kind of a diagonal line that comes down and then we're going to shade up this muscle and back down and then we can shade kind of over and connect this muscle. So it almost like makes like a little W and then we'll shade on this side of that line, fill it in. Okay, and then we can come down shade underneath his kneecap and then also shade the left side of his shin. Okay, and then we'll go back over that and do the same thing. We'll smooth it out so that texture, the pencil texture is gone and looks nice and smooth. Okay, now we're gonna do this leg. So we're gonna draw a line that kind of comes up. So diagonal from there. Okay, and then we can draw another line that's kind of diagonal in there. And it's just gonna be light, right? So it's just gonna be extremely light. And we'll shade this in. And shade under this muscle. And then this part in here is gonna be kind of dark We'll come back. We'll do his calf. And then we'll go back over that and blend it out again. Okay, last step, dude, we're gonna add a little shading to his cape. So we'll come back up here, and we can start close to his body and put a little shadow right up against his body and then also underneath his leg. Then I'm also gonna come up here and add some shading underneath this part. And so I'm gonna start really dark and then I'm gonna get lighter press lighter as I go down his cape. Chuckers, man, your Batman turned out super amazing. I am really proud of how it turned out. But did you have fun? Yeah. Look at all those muscles, man. We shaded all the muscles. He looks really cool. Looks like he could beat up Superman, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And we, maybe. We don't know. We'll just have to see, huh? So we also, we also did Superman, huh? A yeah. while ago. And we'll leave a link below in the description of this video where you can watch the Superman video that we did. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Batman with us. Remember to take a picture and send it to us. What's our email? Myart at artforkidshub.com. Yes, myart at artforkidshub.com. And we'll feature you in our next Monday video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Or Batman. No. I'm Batman. No, I am. <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe. laughs> oh, you saved yourself. <laughs> You're slipping. You're slipping, dude. You're slipping. <laughs>